Hello and welcome everyone back to another episode of Ezoke Explains. I'm Tyler Bishop and today we're going to be talking a little bit about site speed and how you can measure and adapt site speed for your users, which is the way that Google is also going to be measuring and looking at your site speed. So first, I'm going to hop into one of the most general ways that people are looking at their site speed, which is through a tool like PageSpeed Insights. So in this case, I'm looking at a low score on my mobile device. I'm looking at a 16, which is probably not uncommon for a lot of sites that might throw their, their website into a tool like this. You may get a lot of recommendations from PageSpeed Insights. And ultimately, what you're going to find is that even fixing a lot of those things does not ultimately improve um, your score. But your site speed may improve quite a bit for users. In fact, PageSpeed Insights is not the best tool in the world because it's actually been broken since late 2018, according to Google's team. But fear not, we're going to get into a little bit more about how you can adapt your site to the way that users are going to view speed and also the way that Google is ultimately going to measure it as well. Uh, but first, I want to point out that not just PageSpeed Insights is flawed or broken, it's actually most tools. Um, everything from uh, GT metrics to PageSpeed Insights itself, um, they're not great at being able to tell you uh, exactly what can be done to ultimately improve speed for a user. They're looking at a lot of general recommendations. And the reason why you can test this yourself and get a good idea of just where these things fall short is CNN.com. It's one of my favorite ones. So CNN.com is they have a zero out of a hundred score, which if any of you have ever taken a math class before, you'd know that zero out of 100 would be about as bad of a score as you could get. It'd be a failing grade. But in reality, CNN.com is extremely fast for users. So in this case, we've got uh, a video here from CNN.com. You can see here on a mobile device, and it loads almost instantly for users. And no matter where you are in the world, I found that CNN.com is incredibly fast. So far from a zero out of 100 score. So how is Google looking at this? Well, one way that we know about this, and this is from multiple interviews uh, in Google's Webmaster blog and on Hangouts that John Mueller has done, um, people have asked, um, I have this you know, long or bad page speed, and Mueller always says, well, Lighthouse metrics are presented from the user-facing side of things, and from a search perspective, Google uses a variety of metrics to figure out how they should judge site speed. However, with regards to SEO, Mueller says it's better get feedback from users rather than trying to determine if Google thinks the site is slow. So what's the best way to look at user data according to Google? Well, it is in Lighthouse, which is actually where PageSpeed Insights is supposed to be getting their data. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't quite work that way. So before we get into how you use Lighthouse, let's first figure out how are my users viewing my data. So here I am, I'm on my Injury Health blog, the blog that uh, we beat up quite a bit on this, on this show. And I'm in Ezoic's Big Data Analytics and I've gone down to technology and clicked on device. And I can see that the vast majority, 70% of my visitors are on mobile devices. So I've pulled a small date range here. I can see that mobile, then desktop. So I assume my desktop connections are probably pretty quick, but I'm worried about how my mobile users are experiencing my site. So now I'm going to hop over into technology and connection effective type. So this will actually show me what type of connection are the majority of my mobile users on. And in this case, I can see 93.8% of my visitors are coming on a 4G internet connection, so a fast mobile connection. So now I know that I'm not dealing with slow connections with most of my mobile site viewers. So you can see here slow 2G, uh, 2G connections, less than 1% of my website visitors. So this is great news for me. So whenever I measure my site speed in Lighthouse, I need to take into account what type of connection I have. And you can also get a good look here at my average engage time per visit as I slide this column over here, you can see that my average engagement time really isn't affected by my connection type either. So this would be a giveaway as well if my you know slow 2G or 2G connected viewers um, were getting much worse engagement time, if maybe the connection speed was having a negative impact on their experience. But you can see here, it's not in fact 3G and 4G, the exact same engagement time per visit. So that's pretty incredible. Um, so my site looks like it's probably pretty fast and or at least fast enough for my visitors. But first, 
let's go into the site itself and let's dig into Lighthouse. So Lighthouse is fine by, found by getting into a Chrome browser and you have to go on incognito. This is very, very important. You go on incognito and you don't want any Chrome extensions installed. This is super important because your Chrome extensions will actually make your page speed score lower. Believe it or not, Google will look at the extensions that you're using on your browser and it will contribute to messed up site speed score. So in this case, I'm in an incognito browser with no extensions and I'm going to go over here and click on audits after I've inspected the page of my site that I'm interested in the speed on. Now I'm going to go over here. You can see this is the lighthouse symbol. I'm going to click on mobile, performance, and then no throttling. So I'm going to focus on my fast mobile viewers here and I'm going to click on run audit. So now Google is going to go through and audit my site the way that 70% of my mobile viewers are 93% of my mobile viewers are viewing 70% of my site overall. Let's see, is my site getting a good score or not? Because remember, PageSpeed Insights, I got a 16 out of 100, which is pretty low. So if I'm worried about SEO and page speed, I may be pretty concerned about that score. But when I look at it from a viewer standpoint, you can see it's much higher than that 16. I have a 48 here. So still not the best score in the world. Uh, I can see that reduced server response time. This site in particular has a very, very slow host, thanks to me trying to penny pinch just a little bit. But you can see here that my score is much, much higher than what it was through PageSpeed Insights because I'm looking at my site the way that viewers do. So in this case, it's a great opportunity for you to be able to understand exactly what your site speed is to the majority of your visitors. So if I go back inside of Big Data Analytics, I can take a look at my site here. And again, I just come into technology and I want to see what devices they're using and then also what the average connection type is. And these percentages will give me a good idea of what the majority of my visitors are experiencing. And remember, Google says from an SEO perspective, look at this the way a visitor does. And that is what Google is going to be looking at, exactly what you're seeing in Lighthouse there. They're going to be trying to figure out, does the site speed affect the visitor's experience? And in my case, you can see once again, my engagement time for my 4G, 3G, 2G connected visitors is almost exactly the same. So I want to thank you for joining us once again on Zoic Explains. And uh, hopefully this has helped you do a better job of measuring and implementing site speed changes on your website.